I am making little denim flowers. The YouTube channel I found this from, the girl had a downloadable template to trace these out. You can faintly see pen around the back. You need three for each. So these ones I have to cut out. Trace around with whatever you want, pencil, pen, doesn't matter. And then you stack them up like offset and sew a button in the middle. We'll do that next. In order to sew them, put them offset, sort of natural looking, like so. You can do this with lots of different fabrics too if you wish. You can do three different kinds, you can do two the same and put a different one in the middle, whatever you fancy. Now for sewing, just stick a pin through, just so it doesn't wiggle around. I'm going to use this little red heart button, because I think it's cute. And I have a small needle here with two strands of red thread. You could totally use a different color thread. It doesn't really matter if you want it to. You could use black thread, like whatever. Whatever turns you on. So, kind of get your middle. Eyeball it. Close enough, you know. Take a small stitch in the middle like so. Oops, didn't quite go through. Make sure I go through all the way. Just makes it firmer. Sorry, I'm off camera. I keep drifting. My apologies. Oops. Of course, we have a knot. There we go. Oh, tiny little thread. Perfect. Now, go through the button. Get it kind of how it's going to be. Just make sure that you go through it several times to anchor it down. I'm going to go all the way through to the bottom too just to make sure. Now you could easily put these into anything you wanted to. You could put a hair elastic on the back and use it like almost like a bow. I don't really have any little girls in my family right now where I would do that. That would be cute. Especially if you had different colors of denim. Of course, it doesn't want to go through. Well, you get the idea. I went through the little heart about eight times or so. To tie a knot on the back, I'll tangle it a bit, take your needle and go underneath a little bit. Take a stitch, a small stitch, it doesn't have to be huge. Pull your needle through. And then as your loop comes in, put your needle through the loop like so and pull it tight and you have a knot. If you are not planning on using these flowers on anything that's going to be washed, you can glue them. Like if you just want to put it on the front of a journal or something. So the best way to do that is, you can use a, pretty much any glue that will stick with fabric, but I like Fabrifix because I, I've used it in the past, I know it works, so that's what I'm going to use. So a little bit, Hopefully it'll come out now, of course, now that I'm trying to film. Let me get in there, just a second here. A little bit in the middle. And a little bit in the middle of two of them. And then you stick, oh, let's put more on that one, just to make sure she's down. Okay. Stick this one on top. Make sure that you misalign them. And then put this one on top, like so push them down. Now, to order to make sure that you don't get too much glue on your button, I'm going to use this little pink one. Put the glue on the back of the button. See, there's a faint rim there, so I'm putting the glue on the, glue on the back of it. That way you can kind of control it better, rather than putting it on the denim. Move it over a little bit there. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to look and film at the same time, make sure I'm in frame. So just kind of smear a little glue back there. And then... Stick it down in the middle. And you can use any size of button you want. This one's kind of small. If you got a great big honkin' button, use the great big honkin' button. Who cares? It's your thing. Do whatever you want. And just let it dry and then use it for whatever purpose you want to use it for.